James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is October 22nd, 2022, 8.15 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL has just announced that we will barely be missed by a near-Earth object, may it be a comet or asteroid, that's zipping between the Moon and Earth tonight, October 22nd, 2022. Again, this was just announced. The solution date is today, uh, and she will be making a close shave in a few hours. I would like to mention that this near-Earth object is just under 50 feet in diameter, so based on its speed and trajectory, it could be a problem for the planet. However, it wouldn't be a planet killer. It could damage property and or individuals. So this near-Earth object is only moving at 7.9 kilometers per second, or just under 18,000 miles an hour. It should not be a problem. However, the solution date when they announced it is today. They say that they saw it five days ago, but were only able to make 19 total observations using automatic, their AI software that I'm sure is the only thing that picked it up. And they say they've been watching it since the 17th. They're going to give us a solution date and say that it's going to be right between Earth and the Moon, 0.6 lunar distances, just over 120,000 miles from the center of our planet, with a condition code of 7, right? Zero being good, i.e. they know the orbit. Nine being a highly uncertain orbit. Well, they have it going right between Earth and the Moon with a condition code of 7, and it's just about 50 feet in diameter. Why was this information not reported earlier? Why were only 19 observations obtained over a five-day period? Why is the condition code still a 7? All questions that need to be answered, ladies and gentlemen. Again, just under 50 feet in diameter, moving just under 18,000 miles an hour, and it's coming on through. With that said, JPL also announced that they missed one that hit the planet that was just about 18 to 20 feet in diameter on the 20th, two nights ago. They have reported that. I'm not going to report it because it ended up being uh, something that burned up in the atmosphere and no big deal. But, ladies and gentlemen, they completely missed that and decided to report it two days after impact. God bless you guys. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.